Alrighty tighty, it's a new day and we've got actually quite a lot of new stuff going on, a new maze event and this new Bedwear Berserker Dragon, on top of us also having an Empower Happy Hour. So we will go through all of that today and the best pass for the maze of course, but just first of all let's go through Bedwear Berserker because of course we had the previous Berserker Dragon, these dragons are currently paid only, but interesting set of elements, Chaos, Primal, Light and Fire, and I mean he kind of looks cool, I will say he probably looks I would say a lot cooler than the previous Berserker that we had and it's just reminding us about our daily gifts but with these Berserkers we're probably going to get you know an entire set of them like we normally do we've got so many dragons that have burr in their name what's up with that but with these Berserker dragons he this one in particular Bedwear he has Bedwear Bash which hits three to five times which is kind of similar to Hex and then he's got of course Berserk which deals increasing damage after knocking out up to two opponents and as we've tested out before or well other people have tested out for us before and shown us the video clips Berserk could be a very very scary scary thing and Bedwear Bash I actually prefer it compared to the previous Berserker and of course we're gonna have all the you know, the other pay to win stuff on top of all of this. But if you ever want to know what's going on, of course, you've got the news and we've also got the offers section. So it will throw you all of these things like the Berserker offer, for instance. Uh, but on top of that, we will be having quests as well. So we have this boy and his skill skin. So as it says, damage goes up is basically what you get out of it. But you're going to need another maxed out berserker to get the skill skin so this is going to be pretty much either you need to have all the food already available and be willing to spend tons of money potentially on empowerment insta empowerment or you're just not going to get this dragon but saying that in theory if you manage to pick up the dragon instantly right now and you have tons of joker orbs available because we have an empower happy hour you could in theory actually do it without spending lots of money compared to the last one so there is that you could actually just do it the good old-fashioned way if you've saved up enough resources but of course most players probably don't just have the resources or the food to instantly do that but maybe that is what you're gonna choose to do but interesting dragon do i think he's gonna be very good i think he has the potential to be pretty decent uh, but you know without the skill skin probably not so bear that in mind anyway like i mentioned we do have empower happy hour and i think what i'm gonna do this empower happy hour i'm gonna make the smart decision and rather than putting it off longer i'm gonna empower michonne we do have like nearly 1600 jokers i should realistically be taking her to e5 but at least we'll take her to e4 for now and then you know that's a pretty good decent twd to take us through a few different arenas at least for now we can work on negan later but if you're gonna decide which dragon you want to empower remember that during empower happy hours you can use an endless amount of joker orbs so I could speed this up even and, you know, do the final star if I wanted to. So you can just endlessly empower during empower happy hours if you have both enough gems and you have enough joker orbs. But of course, usually spending tons of gems isn't advised if you can help it. But, you know, good luck with whatever you're going to empower this time around. Be careful about it. And of course, bear in mind all of the ongoing quests. So you might want to empower, you know, your aura sphere for the wish quest. You might want to empower your... Uh, spore plasma for instance to get more value out of these depends on what you've got going on right now but anyway on to the new maze event because we have the ongoing collections that we have to worry about and for this maze event i have put together a quick guide for everything and essentially the best path this time around is going to be as usual the keys path uh, because this time around it seems like all of the good stuff is once again on the keys path because we have story books on keys path we have seabed fossils on keys path and we also have insignias on keys path whereas some of the other paths they don't look too hot mainly talking about the legendary paths uh, because of course the dragons that i see are going to be different to the dragons that you see but if we look at the 10 day unlock dragon for instance on this path, we have one seabed fossil, two seabed fossil, but that's pretty much it. We only have seabed fossils on these two legendary paths. So these ones just, yeah, they're not very good, to be honest with you. I would avoid the two uh, nine day and 10 day unlock legendaries because they're just not very good. On top of that, of course, we have the runner event, flight stamps path, which you can go down if you want extra flight stamps. 
for the runner event we have the puzzle path so you could go down the puzzle path if you want extra puzzle moves for the puzzle event and then we have the food path where if you're super desperate for food for some reason there is a guaranteed xl food box and some random boxes on the way you can go down that path but you will end up missing out on event items if you do that so typically it's going to be best to go down the keys path you could also go down the regular unlock legendary which in my case is sea pirate and down this path it is mostly again just seabed fossils so you can get some more seabed fossils i don't think it's really a great idea but if you want the story books which are the story books that drop broken rings or twisted memories for the currently ongoing twisted tale collection you would go down the keys path and so just to give you an update on what all the costs are and how many items you could roughly expect i think that the item counts are accurate i tried my best but my brain is i'm all over the place so uh, correct me if there's any that are off by like a couple of counts but essentially if you want to take the keys path the total cost is going to be 24,970 currency from all of the different ways that you can collect currency via reset starting currency puzzle cut uh, not puzzle currency but quest currency and everything else and then on top puzzle currency and runner currency you could get 29,700 without ads so 30,000 currency means that you could get any of the paths completed if you want to but you could always finish off the keys path while you're getting like 21 seabed fossils 11 storybooks and eight insignias which is very good value and then you could always do like say possibly runner and puzzle it depends on what your drops are going to be in ads but i could easily see it being possible for you to do keys path plus puzzle plus runner maybe some food path but you know you want to save up your currency and know exactly what you can afford so there is that all the costs are on there and they show you how many items you can get so that's in the dc event guide section of my discord server just written out in case you ever need it i'll also paste it in the description here you can also see this information although not outright showing you how many items you can get but you can see this on ditlep in the maze island section and you can see some more on the ditlist website as well it gives you the cost here which is in a, quite a nice way but you'll see that these guys have different dragons to me because you'll also have different dragons to me so whatever these dragons are they're going to be different between me and you so don't worry about which dragon is which just worry about the timers and what the path is and so like it says here there's his gatekeeper for the keys path which comes to that twenty four thousand and nine hundred and seventy as stated so you can always double check on ditlep if you want to as well and then you can always check how much it's going to cost to get to a certain item by scrolling down you'll see the cost per and then the total cost for that path here so it goes through that as well of course if you're prioritizing seabed fossils you could always after you finish with the, the keys path for instance or you get mainly through the keys path you could change to one of the other paths and get some cheaper seabed fossils i don't really recommend that i think that just going for the storybooks will probably give you more value on average but it's up to you what you want to do at the end of the day you do you but my general advice would be to go down keys path and then it's your choice which of the other paths you want to try and go down so bear all of that in mind when you are progressing through the maze event but personally i think i've already decided that i am just going to go down the keys path uh because i want the storybooks i do i've become a little bit more of a sucker these days for the event collections especially when we've got so many you know empower happy hours and random perks and things like that on offer from the collections oh and of course we've got double rewards brb we're back so every time you see that times two on the items you should definitely try and pick up the books so i'm gonna go and claim these get our tasty event items and potentially be able to finish off some more of our collections but you definitely need to prioritize getting the event items if you want to get as much value out of these collections as you possibly can and um, i don't know it just seems like these days they're really pushing for players to go down the keys paths for whatever reason i mean it simplifies things because before there used to be the question of oh if you want the new dragon you've got to go down the other path and then maybe touch this path as well so i guess it's easier if we're like okay we're just gonna go down the keys path and pick up that stuff you know nothing wrong with that and if you've been collecting the seabed fossils from the previous maze events you should be able to unlock that dragon very soon from that that collection as well because uh, you should be able to pick up enough seabed fossils very quickly to be able to unlock the dragon how many do i have even let's go and have a quick look see we're out of currency for now but of course the way that you can get more currency is just by collecting all of the gold on your farms that's an easy way of doing it alternatively 
Another easy way is just to get a level one dragon. So like, let's say we'll get a terror dragon, we'll hatch the terror dragon, feed it up, and then we'll get the extra currency that we want. But this is the collection here that I'm talking about. And you'll see that to get seabed, all that I need is another four seabed fossils. We could focus on the rest of the seabed fossils and go for this collection, which can drop up to 100 jokers. But it's your choice whether you want to try and go for that one. Personally, I'm just going to unlock seabed this time around and not worry about the other one because that is a lot of potential seabed fossils to have to pick up. I think that may be a bit a bit difficult. Uh, of course, we might miss out on a phoenix. I don't care too much. Uh, I'm just going to unlock this dragon and mainly focus on the storybooks, which, as you can see, we're getting another perk chest out of this, so that's not too bad. We're getting perks anyway. I know that it's a breeding perk, but we also get some essence. What do we get? That's fine. We might use that one day. It's mainly like the legendary joker orb section that we care about and, you know, maybe the legendary orbs chest as well. So a couple more of the, 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 the broken rings. And then we should have all of that sword. But anyway, let's go and place our boy over here. And we're going to feed him up and then collect all the rest of our currency for this reset. And then we can continue a little bit further in the maze. But these maze events are very long, so make sure you're logging in every eight hours, collecting all your currency. Nice and easy and chilled event, but we will be getting puzzle tomorrow. So make sure that your farms are ready for puzzle. Make sure that your breeding dens and hatchery is free enough to be able to take part in the puzzle. And you should do your pre-breedings and such, of course. It's your choice. You don't have to, but I think generally that is the better option for you to go for. Uh, there's an extra seabed fossil here. We, we don't need to pick that one up. That's That would just be a waste of 110 currency because we're going to pick up seabed fossils as we go through the pass anyway. So I'm just going to continue on with the rest of the, the keys path at the moment. So again, I do love these, these long maze events. You can get tons of stuff out of these long maze events. And again, it's your choice whether you want to go for the puzzle paths or whatever. It depends on whether you need the extra... I guess the extra currency from the maze event to get the reward you want from both puzzle and runner and then those events do give you back currency for maze as well so there is that it's almost like you're paying currency and maze to get currency back for maze <laughs> but then there's the other rewards and the the special dragons and items as well so it's not just like you're paying currency to get currency back but it kind of feels like that but I'm going to continue making my way through maze. Of course, we do also have the maze quests. So make sure that you are logging in and doing those. Although the only item that we have is on stage 10. So unless you are incredibly diligent with your logging in, you're probably not going to get that storybook from the quest. Let's be honest. But at the end of the day, it is still just, you know, easy, easy currency just to get from the quest. Not as easy as it was with the one day reset. So I did prefer that because we just got tons of quest battles from it, which was better for ranking up. But then at the same time, we don't have to worry about the quest too much. If you miss all of the quests, it's not the end of the world, of course, because it's like, what, 500 currency? One, two, three, four, five. So it's not a whole lot of currency at the end of the day that you'd be missing anyway. But then when we get Seabed unlocked as well, we can also do like a couple of stages of his mythical quest as well. So we might as well get some free orbs for the dragon. You know, there's lots of little things that you can pick up on your way through. So bear all of that in mind. The only other thing to remember is that we do have maze coins available in ads. So definitely get watching those. And maybe you'll even get a full vampire out of the chest. Probably not, but maybe. So definitely get to watching these maybe you'll get a 1000 drop a few times and maybe you'll get tons of stuff out of the maze event you never know the only other thing really that i wanted to delve into i mean there is this event that's coming up as well because we've got this philanthropy week so i guess we're having more mr b stuff coming into the game so they will be coming in the various events so i bear that in mind i'm not sure if it's going to be anything too special or if it's just going to be empowerment and unlock unlocking the dragons but there is that coming but main thing that I wanted to talk about was just Wizard's Hollow, because this has changed from the Healing Karma Hollow, of course, but this Wizard's Hollow, although it's not going to be the best Hollow ever, because the available dragon is Wind Titan, and Wind Titan, honestly, is not the best dragon. He's just a regular Titan. He's not very good, really. I mean, you could use him. He's going to be an easy trade project, for instance. But all he has is Titan Shield, which just doesn't really hold up anymore. You know, back when legendary VIPs were new, Titans were, you know, decent back then. But these days we have so many skills and better dragons, so Titans have been sort of left to rot, which is kind of sad. And of course, we're going to run into a wizard on room three. 
Uh, I also did the same yesterday and then ran into another one on room six, which is always my favorite. <laughs> It's like the worst luck you can possibly get, but it happens. The only really interesting thing about this hollow is actually the gold rune chest, which is the mythical egg chest. So you could get lucky and just pick up some random mythicals and mythicals can be a pain to get sometimes. And I mean, who doesn't love getting duplicate whimsicals? I think I got three duplicate whimsicals at one point within the span of a month and I was wondering what the heck was going on. Uh, but yeah, picking up any of these mythicals, I'd actually love it. Any of the ones that I don't own? Oh, there we go. There's another wizard on room six. Love it. But I'll definitely be quitting out of that one because I don't think this is one that's really worth spending the gems on. But yeah, there is there is that. So there we go. We got absolutely ass blasted by Wizards Hollow today. So if you did too, at least you know that you're not alone. But that is most of the new stuff. I'm not sure if there's anything else really of note. Of course, we do have some cool dragons available in the breeding event island. So there is that to bear in mind. Uh, I didn't really do rush this time, as you can see. I didn't do it at all. <laughs> I did a few battles and that was about it, but it's mainly because my only real reason to want to grind the arena is either Alliance Chest or it's when we have items that aren't just light time available. I really should force myself because like, my team could do very well in this arena easily. It's just, I don't know, when there's no items available, I get sort of... You know, I, it, there's no spark. There's no spark for me to want to do it. So it's kind of sad. But anyway, I'm going to keep grinding out the League's Alliance chest for now. And uh, I guess we'll just wait for our empowerment to finish up. We're also waiting for our summon to finish up. So we've got lots of long timers at the moment. But it's kind of cool that we had an empower happy hour and summon happy hour going on at the same time. I kind of like it when that happens. But for now, I will just say good luck with all of your randomness if you're breeding for stuff event stuff and i hope that you can get everything that you want out of this event but my general advice for me is like i said it's just gonna be go down the, the keys path for most players depends it depends on exactly what you want but keys path is a good shout